but Sons of Bingfa is the art of war. All carved out on bamboo. Hey guys, so we're in Chengdu now. And we're just kind of walking around the streets. This is what it looks like. People eating all over the place. Over there, there's a bunch of people. We'll do some fruit, vegetables, stuff like that. Stuff happening. Some dude eating noodles. Everybody waiting for their seats. Kid playing on his phone. Just some exercise in the park. So here we're at the Panda Place, and it's really crowded. People all over the place. So I guess the pandas feel loved. After that whole process, we're now in the Panda Museum. Here, we come back to eight million years ago. So that's when the origins of the panda came by. It was like eight million years ago. Eight million years ago. They're called living fossils by paleontologists. There's some of the fossils, that, I guess, that they found at that time. From the Miocene, to the Pliocene, to the Pleistocene and then to the Holocene. I wouldn't be surprised if this is around just to like wear the kids out so they don't stress out the pandas. All right, so this is Qingyanggong. It's a really important Taoist temple. So we're gonna go inside and check it out. Look the city. Down there is downtown. It's quite impressive. I was here 10 years ago. I used to live here. And it wasn't nearly this built up. And now it's really kind of coming to its own. When I first came to Chengdu, there was no subway station. And they hadn't even started digging for subway stations. And now, this is what we have. Huge subway network all over the place in less than 10 years. This is just one of the many rivers they have in Chengdu. All right, so I found a park. So I think I'm gonna go in. 
Now I'm in this little park. Wangjiang Lo. Some sort of uh, bamboo reserve. So here you go. Nice little bamboo archway to walk down. Nobody out here. It's beautiful. So this is supposed to be some sort of Zhucheng Lie Guan. This is like the sort of, I guess the bamboo sanctuary. Wow, look at those big, thick, tall sticks of bamboo. And here's some carvings made out of bamboo. So that's kind of funky. Bamboo. Here's some weapons made out of bamboo. That's kind of funky. I don't think they're actually real weapons. I don't think that thing has ever killed anyone. Again, I don't think they're real. So this is saying how bamboo was used to carve out books. So right there, that book there is Dao Te Jing. But that is the Dao Te Jing, all 81 chapters of it, all carved out on bamboo. How cool is that? But Sons of Bingfa is the art of war. I'll carve out on bamboo. Get it to female poets. This is a Tang Dynasty poem. I guess it's written by her. Figurines of female poets. The pagoda there. This is cool. It's a pagoda with like a building behind it. Yeah, nice little park in the middle of the city. I'm glad I came into this little place. So this is the neighborhood I used to live in. Yeah, it's a pretty typical street in like sort of like the uptown of Chengdu. It's like the nice thing about Chengdu though, is it seems to you, it doesn't matter that you're in a big city because the greenery everywhere really makes it seem like you're almost living in a forest yeah so everywhere you go it's kind of like you're living in a jungle a little bit but really you're living in a big city everywhere you go there's little parks and stuff it's quite got quite a nice vibe to it it's got this like sort of almost a jungle like vibe and it's like big city So that was kind of like the nice thing about living in Chengdu is it always kind of felt like you were had both like you know the idea of living in nature and sort of living in the middle of a big city or having all the the amenities of a big city it's nice all right so we're eating hot pot fish hot pot tonight so we're gonna choose our fish <laughs> So we gotta figure out what fish we're gonna eat and how many fish heads. Alright, that's the fish that we're eating. So yeah, we're gonna get some fish. I'm gonna stick it in there. And then we're gonna cook some other stuff in there like vegetables and tofu and stuff like that. You can put it in there, right? You want to put it in there? fish head. Here, you can put it Oh, that's what? Frog. Oh, that's frog. Some frog in. Nice. 
And then put the fish head in. Fish meat. I'll eat the fish meat. Yes, yeah. Hmm. Cool. Yes, yeah. And then we have these things, and that's to mix it all into. So that is pao tan. Pao tan. Pao. Suan luo bo. Suan luo bo. It's like. And then that's where our frogs, and then she's got the fish head over there. Cool. <laughs> I'm gonna eat this frog. There it is. He's got good meat on his legs. Hot. Hot shima. You told how soon, huh? It's a Sichuanese delicacy. Don't know what part of the frog that was. It was chewy. See you, see Oh, you're very good. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. More frog. You like eating the fish? Wow. Well, the fish is the best. What can you eat on the fish? You can eat it. But it's not all of the fish. The fish can't eat it. But is there a brain? Yes. Do you eat it? Yes. Do you eat it? 好吃吗？嗯、对，好吃。嗯，有你有眼镜吗？哦 ，Oh, that's a lot of frog. 谢谢。嗯嗯嗯。Tell me, eat slowly, because I get the bones stuck in my throat. More frog. So after all that, then we put more stuff into the hot pot and eat even more. And that's how we do hot pot. Well, this is fish hot pot. Do I have it? This is fish hot pot. Interesting experience. 